Hey people, today I'm going to be showing you how to RNG manipulate a shiny starter in Pokemon Emerald version. In addition to that, you're going to figure out your secret ID along the way. If you don't want to restart your game, but you still want to RNG shinies and learn your secret ID, I have a video covering how to do that by deducing the IVs of an already caught shiny Pokemon. Uh, in addition, if you want to do this in Ruby or Sapphire or Fire Red and Leaf Green, those games both have different methods than what I'm doing here to figure out your secret ID or to RNG your secret ID. So please check out videos I have on them if you're interested in that. Links to all of them will be in the description and a pinned comment. Uh, and last but not least, I just want to say thank you to Pokemon Trainer Choppy, who originally discovered this method a few years ago, uh, but their video has become a bit outdated because they still used RNG Reporter and Eon Timer 1.6, so I think it was time for an update. With that being said, let's get underway for the stuff you're going to need in-game. So in-game, you're only going to need to do one thing, which is to make sure that you have a save file. You could just make a new save file if you don't have one on your game for some reason. Go into the options menu and make sure your text speed is set to fast. Then save the game. That is all you have to do in game. Now, out of game, you're gonna need three tools. You're gonna need PokeFinder by Admiral Fish. Now in PokeFinder, what we're gonna do is click the tools drop down here and click researcher. Then once you're in researcher, what you're gonna do is set your initial advances to probably up like 990. And then you're gonna set your max advances to 1015. Uh, then you're gonna leave everything else blank and go to the customs section. In custom, uh, custom one, you're gonna drop down and click 16 bit high, and then you're gonna divide that by one. And that's all you're gonna need to do in researcher. Additionally, you're gonna need a calculator. I just use the standard Windows calculator, and you're gonna to wanna to open it up in programmer mode. So we're gonna scroll down and click programmer. And we're just gonna leave the calculator there for now. Last but not least, you need Eon Timer 3.0 by Das Amphros. Now, you want to make sure that there are a few settings correct in Eon Timer. Of course, you want to be in the Gen 3 tab, and you're going to want to set Calibration and Pre-Timer to 0, and you're going to set your target frame to 950. We're actually aiming for frame 1000, but the reason we're setting our target frame to 950 is that the secret ID takes about 50 frames to generate. Uh, so, once that's done, click this little settings cog here, and you'll see a preferences box shows up. Leave the action tab alone, but go to the timer tab. Now in here, there's a section that says console. If you're playing on a Game Boy Advanced, a Game Boy Advanced SP, a Game Boy Micro, or a Game Boy Player for the GameCube, you're gonna click GBA. For DS, if you're playing on a DS, a DS Lite, or the 3DS Virtual Console, you're gonna do NDS-GBA. You do not wanna pick the regular NDS mode, that is for actual DS games. Then hit OK. Now you're all set up, and what we're going to want to do is soft reset the game and play through the intro to the point where you are just about to finish naming your character. All right, so once you finish naming your character, you're going to want to hit start to get over the OK button there, and you'll see the OK button is blinking, and you're just going to want to leave the game there. Now we're going to want to open up Eon Timer again and get ready to do the RNG. Now, I'll briefly explain why this RNG works. But basically, Emerald's RNG is notoriously broken, and it never, it doesn't really work properly. It always starts at seed zero. The one exception to this is during this naming screen when you're starting a new game. The RNG is actually going right now, and when you hit OK, you're going to pick an initial seed for your game. They also use that initial seed value to determine your trainer ID. And quite literally, your trainer ID is your initial seed when, the, when you first started the game. And so because of that, we actually can't predict what our secret ID would be very easily like we could in Ruby and Sapphire. But what we can do, because we know what our initial seed was, we can hone down a, a list of potential secret IDs. Assuming you were reasonably accurate, which I think most of us are going to be, uh, you can get about a 10 frame uh, window to see what secret IDs you've gotten, and then just try them all out on a shiny starter. So with that said, we're going to hit start on Eon Timer, and we're going to hit A in the game at the same time, and we're going to get to the last dialog box. And now it is the box that says, uh, I'll see you later. And this is the reason you need to have uh, a fast text speed. Because the secret ID takes 50 frames to generate. After that dialog box is cleared. And if the text speed is slow, the dialog box clears at a different speed. So once you've hit A there, check your trainer ID. 
16804, and you're going to type that into the calculator in the decimal section. So 16804. Then you're going to see in the hex section, it has got a different number which has letters in it. So that's 41A4. I'm going to right click and click copy. Then you're going to go into researcher and paste it in the seed section. This was your initial seed. You're going to click generate and you're going to get a list of about 20 secret IDs uh, potential in the custom one section. So if you see here, it says custom one. These are our potential secret IDs. And if you were frame perfect, if you hit 950 in Eon timer, you're going to be on frame 1000 and you're going to be getting this right here, 34876, uh, or I would be. You're going to be getting something different, of course. So now what we're going to do is play up to the point where we get a, a starter and we're going to try and RNG manipulate the starter Pokemon. All right, so once you are in front of the bag, save the game. And now we're going to do a standard static RNG manipulation. And don't worry, if you're not familiar with doing that, I will show you how to do it. But I do have a full entire video on how to do this in Emerald version. So please uh, go check that out if you are a little more confused uh, what I'm doing here. So we're going to soft reset the game after you've saved. So once you've reset your game, you're going to want to go to Pokefinder's main window and click the static option here. Then a new window is going to pop up and you're not going to want to mess with anything just yet. Uh, but you're going to want to click manager here in the profile section. And then you're going to click new. So you're going to name the profile. Uh, I usually just name it whatever my trainer name is. And then you're going to click the proper game, which is Emerald. My trainer ID was 16804. And my secret ID is unknown. And so what we're going to be doing is picking from the list of potential secret IDs in, uh, uh, in a Researcher. So my first one was 34876. And I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to hit Done. Then I'm going to pick that profile from the dropdowns. And in case you were confused about where I got that from, let's go back to Researcher. You can see the custom one tab, right? This has a list of numbers here. These are potential secret IDs. So if we go back, frame 1000, which was the frame I was aiming for, because if you remember, my target in Eon Timer was 950, and the trainer ID and secret ID took 50 frames to generate. So custom one is going to be frame 1000. So if I was frame perfect, that would be my secret ID. And if this is not our secret ID, we can just check around it to see what potential trainer IDs we could have hit. So let's get back into the static option. Now, what we're going to do is leave method one blank, initial advances, max advances, that's all blank, seed, leave blank. The only thing we're going to touch here is shiny. So we're going to click the shiny. There's a few options. There's any, there's star, there's square, and then there's star square. Star versus square, it's basically just how you want it to appear in generation eight. Uh, and because I don't intend to transfer it up, I am not going to do anything about that. And I'm just going to click generate. And so we can see that at advances 1503, we have a star shiny with a gentle nature. So we're going to take that. We're going to copy it. So I hit control C and we're going to paste that value into Eon timer. Pre timer, I'm going to set that to 5000. Then I'm going to hit start. And when pre timer finishes counting down, I'm going to soft reset the game. And we're just going to get through as fast as possible, and we're going to talk to the bag. Now, you hover over the yes here, the yes or no for the Pokemon. And when the timer finishes counting down, you're going to hit A to get into the battle. All right, it wasn't shiny, but that doesn't necessarily mean that this is not the Pokemon that we are looking for. So now what we're going to do... Our Mudkip wasn't shiny, but that's okay. We could have just missed our target frame, too. And as you can see, relaxed. We didn't, we didn't even hit what our target frame was. So what you're going to do is switch shiny back to any, and then you're going to scroll down to your target frame, which mine was 1504. So you're going to find that again. Okay, so I'm going to right-click that, and we're going to take a look at the frames around us. Was there any relaxed? There was 1498, but we can't be sure that that was our Mudkip. So what we're going to do is open up the 
uh, IV calculator in Pokefinder. So it's in the tool section and then IV calculator. That'll pop up. So just put in Mudkip, which is what, what I picked, but put in whatever you picked. This will work with any of the starters, of course. Characteristic none, hidden power none, we don't know those, and then we're type relaxed. It's level 5, and we're just going to type in all of its stats here. 20, 13, 11, 10, 10, 8. And click Find IVs. And so we're going to get quite big ranges here, uh, but this is pretty much the best that we can do. And so we're, we're going to take a look here. The HP has to be 0 to 19. Uh, the attack has to be 20 to 31, and then the rest have to all be 0 to 19. I think it is likely that this was our Mudkip, but let's take a look at uh, what the other possible options were. And then we're going to set the nature to be relaxed. Then we're going to hit generate. So we'll scroll back down. So as we can see, the options that we have for what uh, Mudkip we've hit were... Oh, and we have to actually look at the gender as well. Our Mudkip is a male. Uh, we're going to set the gender ratio to 87.5 male and 12.5% female because that is what Mudkip is. Then generate. They're all male, so it didn't really help us. But it's always useful to check that type of stuff. So there's no chance we hit either 393 or 940. There's just no way, right? Uh, then for 9560... 60 frames is like a whole one second late. It is possible that this is the Mudkip that we hit, and there's not going to be an easy way to distinguish between these two, which are our most likely candidates. So I tend to assume that we hit the closer one unless it is like very, very obvious. So we're going to reset all the IVs, uh, and then we're going to set this back to stars, or we're going to set this back to normal, uh, remove relaxed nature, and go back to where we were looking for. So, like I said, I think that we hit this relaxed one because we're very close, but we'll be able to suss it out soon enough. And we're just going to give it another attempt in the on timer. So you're going to put the frame hit section. You're going to put 1498. And then click update and then try again. And that is pretty much all you can do at this point. Okay, so we hit a, a hardy mudkip this time. And so we can check if there was a hardy frame around us. So again, our target is gentle. It looks like I could have been two frames late on one of these hardy ones here. There's not going to be a super easy way to tell again. Uh, so it's just, you know, a matter of trial and error until you, you land on your frame. So uh, two things really quick. Uh, I don't remember why I was going all the way through Birch to check my Pokemon's IVs. I think I was thinking it was Gen 4 and I forgot. You could just see the nature in the, uh, in the summary here. Uh, because in Gen 4, you can't see the nature here. You can only see their stats. But as you can see, I landed on a gentle Mudkip. Uh, and it, it, I most likely hit 1503, which was my target frame. And so my secret ID is, in fact, not 34876. So now all I have to do is redo this process, but pick another secret ID. So I'm going to uh, open my profile, and I'm going to click Edit. And I'm going to replace the, sec the secret ID here uh, with a different one. So back in Researcher, the next one, if I was one frame late, it is 5610. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I have found what secret ID that I've hit. So we're going to click OK, and then we generate a uh, star square shiny again. And so we can see here our shiny frame is on 4393, and we're going to go for that one. And what I'm going to do is just jump all the way until uh, I get to the secret ID that I find. So I have checked at this point uh, several secret IDs. Uh, if you see, um, I am up to 26422 in Researcher, which is frame uh, 1006. So that would have been six frames late on my secret ID. Uh, and I believe I've just gotten the calm mudkip uh, that would have been this uh, shiny frame here. So if I re-enable static, you can see I'm aiming for a calm uh, male mudkip, and uh, I hit that. So, yeah, after deduction, I think that is it. So I'm going to be moving on to the next secret ID. I just wanted to show you guys how many uh, secret IDs you may or may not have to check. Like I said, you know, in Researcher, you know, you aim for frame 1,000 and you don't get it. And typically what I do is I go up 10. So I would go up to 1010, uh, and if I fail, I would go back down to 990. And so I'm going to make my way all the way up to 1010. Uh, and my next secret ID is going to be 26285. So I will put that in to uh, my profile now.
And there we have it. Uh, so, <laughs> finally, after several different secret IDs, I was pretty late, apparently. I have a jolly, shiny Mudkip in my Emerald version. So, if we take a look here at my um, researcher, the one I ended up landing on was... Uh, 1008 so I was eight frames late on my target which is pretty late but it goes to show that it is worth checking you know sequentially all of these IDs right uh, because you never know which one you're gonna have and it's worth going up to 10 I think I think it's worth going up to 10 and I think it's worth going down to 90 if going up to 10 you, you know you weren't late uh, so I think it's worth doing that um, I hope you guys enjoy your shiny starters if you have any questions please uh, leave them down in the comments below or consider joining my discord uh, on top of that, uh, if you guys enjoy my videos, if you enjoy my content, my streams, stuff like that, please consider becoming a channel member. Uh, I am trying to, uh, you know, put as much stuff out as I can, and having more channel members really helps me be able to take more time to make more videos and make more uh, streams and stuff like that. All right, thank you, everybody. Uh, I hope you enjoy your shinies, and have a good day. I just want to give a big shout out to all of my channel members. Thank you all so much. Without your support, I wouldn't be able to put out as many videos and stream as much as I currently am doing. I'm trying to get to 75 channel members, so if you guys enjoy the videos, you find them helpful, you like my streams, please consider clicking the join button down below for as low as $1.99. Uh, and a big, big, big shout out to my Blist God tier member, Shadow Blitz 56 Thank you so much. You are a legend. Uh, all of you, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next video.